Oh, hello everybody! Alone Sage from Coors Boutique here and I have this SG and I'm gonna install these Grovers on it. And I'll show you exactly how I'm gonna do it. Let's start by removing the strings. The reason I like the Grovers so much because it's easy to replace them and you won't need to drill any new holes to fit them. And they're very, very, very good tuners. We'll unscrew all the tuners out. So using a Phillips head screwdriver, unscrew all the screws from behind. So, now I'll use pick, toothpick, and just a tiny, tiny, tiny amount of CA glue, and but only on a top hole of each tuner. Not on both, because we we actually gonna need this hole. And using my utility knife, cut it. Now it's flush. And do the same. all the holes remember we need the bottom holes top holes I really like to, to plug because it's much nicer Okay, now I want to color these just a bit using the red ink on all the holes just because it's prettier. Next. I'll open the box and just insert tuners or places. Like so there's a small bag here and I'll take these screws. Screw tuners the exact same hole we had from the former tuners. So, yeah, like so. Make 
sure everything is tight. Doesn't have to be too tight, just that everything fits. Nice. Now we gonna turn the guitar over. These are the washers. As you can see, the washers have two sides. One is completely flat and the other side has this inclination. So the side with the inclination will go up and the flat side is down. Now we're placing the washer and the top screw. And using this tool, I'm just everything tight, and tightening it like so. Again, it doesn't have to be too tight, it just has to sit firmly in its place. And that's it! That's all you need to know. The tuners are fitted to the guitar and are ready to use. So, how do you install strings to your guitar using these tuners? Well, I'll show you that as well. We begin like the traditional standard way. Some use the wraparound technique. I don't. It's okay. As you can see, there's nothing special here. Place the tailpiece in this place. In order to insert the strings, we need to open these screws over here. These screws are opening a pin that's inserted inside the tuner. And we need to lower this pin like so. Now I'll insert the first string to the tuner and I'm making sure the string is as tight as I can. I will not use any slack here and I don't want any turns on the tuning uh, machine. The whole point of locking machine is that there are no turns. So I'll just do that and using my other hand I'll close this screw and tighten this pin that's inside so you can see it actually bent the string a little bit which is good. I'll push this string this side to this end and start turning the key. That's it! All you need to do now is to cut the excess string and you're basically done. Now we do this for the entire set of strings like so. How easy and simple is that? You don't have to tighten this wheel too hard. You don't want to break anything. You just need for the string to catch itself in the tuning machine. Really, really, really simple. And that's it. Now we can take this guitar to the tuner and tune it properly. So now you also can be an expert in replacing the tuners on your Gibson SG. It also works on Les Paul, by the way, and many more. Uh, 
like the ES models. Um, subscribe, like, and share. Check us out on our website. All the best, guys.